Hey guys, this is Wazo. Thank you for joining me on yet another video on Viking Voice. So I thought I'd bring you out into the outside world today. It's not too windy, so hopefully uh, you can hear me okay. It's kind of romantic because it's snowing just like just a little bit. I'm on the river. It's all very beautiful. Cold, but beautiful. So, <sighs> This topic for today, I mean, if you are a performer that has suffered from performance anxiety, I know I kind of start all my videos with this, but if you're new to the channel, to the channel? To the channel, it's kind of important I give you a bit of background. So I've uh, sung my entire life, like I started singing when I was four years old, but also with that, I don't know, I suppose you could call it passion, came the flip side and that was performance anxiety and um, something I never overcame to the point where after doing my music degree and loads of competitions and exams and auditions and all kinds of things I literally just had a moment where I completely gave up because the thought of confronting my fear of singing in front of people one more time was just it was too huge guys and I gave up I literally gave up for 10 years um, I didn't sing I like would sing hit bits and pieces at home but like nothing like nothing serious at all and I just to give you an idea of how bad my anxiety was um, I couldn't even rehearse at home with anyone else in the house or with like the windows or the doors open so you can imagine how I would feel then in an actual performing situation up on stage awful like awful and it it just didn't seem to matter what things I tried that I just basically I just stopped trying because I thought I was crap and when you think you're crap what's the point of even trying you know and I held that belief for years and what's just crazy is that like no one suggested to me to get help so I guess that's what the topic of today's video is like it's all very well and good getting advice and tips and tricks and stuff to help overcome your performing anxiety but unless you actually get to the root of what is causing the fear that's all they're ever going to be guys it's just like an ointment to maybe make you feel a bit better but like you it's like pressing the reset button every time you have to go back into a performance situation you feel that just debilitating fear and of course like it, it affects how you play or you sing if you know if you're an instrument player as well like you go into a room and just things start working for me my voice came out it wasn't even something I recognized I was like horrified and of course that just like reinstated the belief that I was crap and um, it's because I never got to the root of the problem what actually started causing this so I've been posting some videos on social media and this group that I'm a part of this lady wrote to me and she's like you know have you tried this kind of um, <laughs> have you been to this guy who does this ancestral clearing thing and I'm like what do you like what ancestral clearing? like what's that um, yeah because I'm still like in the real world guys like I'm a bit of I'm not a skeptic I'm actually quite spiritual about these things which is why I was open to trying it but she's like you know my husband and I have tried it many people have tried seeking advice from this guy and you should check it out maybe he can help you get to the root cause of your fear and so I watched this video um, of him doing a like individual clearings with people is basically just asking them what's the predominant thing that's causing them trouble and basically then just getting to them to feel that in their body rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 of intensity and then feel the emotion and literally just breathe into the emotion and for me I just because it's not only been the performing anxiety it's literally been anxiety in all areas of my life I've been an incredibly shy person my entire life ever since as little as I can remember I've been shy I've had a fear of talking to people I've had a fear of you know stating an opinion I've you know, my, my, my friends at school used to nick, nickname me Doormat. I was Doormat because basically anyone could just walk over me. I, I didn't have a voice, guys. I'm a singer and I didn't have a voice. And so the question I, I thought, okay, I'll give this a go. The question I asked myself was, 
why am I so scared all the time? Why am I so afraid? And the, this is the first time I'm talking about it. So <laughs> the craziest thing happened. All this emotion came out and these memories came out. And um, I think they are inextricably linked to, to the problem I have and the anxiety that I've suffered from. And these memories that took place were almost not even mine. It was like it's, it was something that happened to my soul a long time ago, if even in, it wasn't in this lifetime, that has carried over into this one. And I know this sounds absolutely crazy, but the things that I witnessed and the emotion was so raw, so intense and so real, I couldn't even speak anymore. My voice had disappeared. And this, this has never happened to me. And it freaked me out. So, you know, I'm not necessarily saying this is something that's gonna happen to you, um, but it, it is an important question to ask yourself. And many people, I think, subconsciously fear that they're gonna feel emotions they don't wanna feel, so they don't ask themselves the deep questions. But in order to actually get through it, guys, you're gonna to have to ask yourself some questions and some deep questions. And if you are someone like me that has suffered from performance anxiety, I, I bet you it has also come out in other areas of your life. You know, whether you're someone that's not been able to stand up for yourself or, you know, I, I also had a huge fear of talking to strangers on the phone, things like that. And it's only like, I never realized they were all connected. And now the and it was all linked to my voice. So no absolute wonder that I couldn't sing in public. If I couldn't even talk on the telephone, if I couldn't stand up for myself, how, what makes me think I could actually get up and sing in front of hundreds of people and feel okay about it? So I'm asking you this question. Now we're not all ready for this. And you know, just, just do what feels right for you. But it is something that unless you address, you're gonna keep running away from your entire life. And I can guarantee you, I did that for my entire life. I stopped what I loved doing for 10 years because I wasn't willing to literally sit with myself and ask myself the deep question. And it was the, the deepest question I could ask myself, a thing to ask myself, which was, why am I so scared? What is it that is making me so scared? And it, it came out by itself and yeah, maybe you might want to actually do this with a therapist. I think I, I started therapy about 10 months ago. It is the best decision I've ever made in my life, ever made in my life. And trust me, the world would be a better place if we all just felt more listened to and more heard and we could talk about our problems. And it takes a safe space sometimes for that, not, not your, your parents okay maybe your you if you're not close to your family okay maybe your friends but even then guys I I just seriously seriously recommend it um, it has changed the way that I view the world and it's just given me so much more confidence and literally just aligned allow me to align with my soul and what was I running away from and even 10 months in you know the work is still there there's a shadow side and it is incredibly spiritual. Um, I really do feel it. There is something that blocks our soul and our energy and it's energy blockages, that's all it is. But to release the energy, you have to sit with that energy and just allow it to pass. You can't run away from it. Most of us do because we don't wanna feel it. It's intense. So if you don't feel like doing that work on your own, definitely go and talk to someone about it. There are loads of people that can help, whether that's traditional psychology, or you know more spiritual teachers whatever you believe whatever resonates with you i would highly recommend actually going and just doing it what have you got to lose seriously if it's not for you try something else but i just can't recommend it enough guys um so i'm still dealing with the the, the memories and the the emotions that i felt yesterday um and i'm going to seek help for that but I wouldn't be surprised if I was able to clear this properly that a lot of mental blockages and emotional blockages will be freed because of this. So um, that's my advice for today. It's a bit esoteric. 
a bit out there, a bit crazy, but I guess that's, that's the main message. Um, don't run away from the fear. Don't run away from it. Sit with it, feel it, allow yourself to feel it. Um, do the deep work and I just guarantee the results will be amazing. That's it for today, guys. I guess I'll see you in the next video. Hope it helps. Any questions or anything, put them. You, I put my email in the description. You can write to me, or um, you know, if you want to make it more communal, I'm sure other people would love to hear what you have to say as well. We're all in this together. I don't think performers talk about this often enough, especially when it comes to mental health, and yet anxiety is just such a huge part of everyday life and I think it should be addressed more openly so that's my goal um, in talking to you about it and right now it's really snowing so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna get <laughs> go and find some shelter okay love you guys see you in the next video bye it's a snowflake on my nose oh it's melted okay Oh, <laughs>